the New South Wales Regional Health Partners came to us to co-develop a, a project which had two main objectives. One was to focus on supporting clinically led research to build capacity and capability at the district. And the second was to focus on a key priority area where this research might lead to real change. So the project itself started with a number of workshops where we brought together around 40 or so different health professionals and carers, pastoral care workers, to have a look through the priorities for palliative care on the coast. And as a result of those workshops, we worked through a number of key research questions that we needed to answer in order to improve care and outcomes for people. So we ended up focusing in on three projects. One focuses on uh, the experiences of people at the end of life within emergency departments. Second key project focusing in on uh, experiences of people living with dementia at the end of life. And the third study was an evidence review looking at uh, models of care and their impact for people with dementia at the end of life. What I've loved about this project is that because it's led by clinicians and the whole ideas and the whole process has been driven by a whole range of stakeholders, it's, it's already making change and it's already having impact. We've also had opportunities to use our findings from our research to inform a number of things. So we were able to inform a funding submission that went to the Ministry of Health and we were able to input into the design of the new palliative care ward at Wyong. I think I'm most proud of the team itself and how it came together as a group of clinicians and researchers to support the project over four years. But particularly proud that it went from a co-design of what the problem is through to clinicians leading the research projects and putting their time to do it, leading to a result that's actually going to have a benefit to people living on the coast. Well, medications are the most commonly used treatment in healthcare and every patient that walks through our doors is either prescribed or administered a medication and this equates to hundreds of thousands of doses being given every month. The first thing was that we implemented the New South Wales Medicines Formulary across Central Coast Local Health District. We also rolled out the new New South Wales Health Procurement Contracts and the third part of this project was making sure that we had a sustainable long-term plan and so we introduced um, a pharmacy procurement saving strategy. If first and foremost, we want to keep our patients as safe and as healthy as possible. And that's what underpins all of our work here. The first outcome is that we are one of the most compliant districts to the new formulary, which is amazing. We do like to think of ourselves as trailblazers here. We are ahead of the pack in a lot of regards. The second achievement which we're really proud of was our contract compliance. So we had over 2,500 medication changes on the new contracts, which we sat there and went through and made over 200,000 changes in our system. If you think about it, think of all the impress, the clinics, the EDs, the dispensaries, after hours, cupboards, all of that required review. So it was a large body of work and we are the most compliant in the state, which is amazing. And the third and final thing was we did save over $1.7 million with some simple strategies to improve our use of medications. The name of the project is Dino Op Project. It was a program we developed for children having operations in theatres, which we then created a research project to test the effectiveness of the program. Kids coming to theatres, it's terrifying for most of them. The idea was to introduce kids to what was going to happen. It's based on a book that it's a colourful rhyming children's book with dinosaur characters and it follows the journey of a little dinosaur who is having an operation. There's a little show bag that they get given with some colouring books and uh, colouring pages and pencils and stamps and then there's the dino hunt which they do along the way to the to the theatres from Kids Ward. They've got a little scavenger hunt card and they stamp the dinosaurs as they see them along the way, just as a distraction. The outcomes of the project were that uh, we showed a significant reduction in distressed children and highly anxious children and a significant reduction in theatre management time and we 
on average saved around eight minutes per child. We also reduce the amount of unnecessary preoperative sedation and also reduce the amount of um, post-op analgesia required. I'm most proud of the fact that the kids love it and that it does actually reduce excess management time because kids aren't distressed and that to me means everything.